What's up, everybody? Listen, I got home last night and there were some packages waiting for me. And you know how good that feels when you come home and there's packages waiting for you. I don't care if it's like a $20 item or a $5 item or a $2,000 item. It just feels good. So I'm excited right now. Um, Want to do a little unboxing. I finally got lithium batteries, man. I know they're expensive. They're so expensive and that's the reason why I haven't really made the jump to getting them. But there is a reason why I got them that actually makes sense. And I think I'm gonna explain it to you just a little bit. All right, now just let me explain the reason why this is intelligent for me to get the lithiums. Look inside my battery compartment here. I have one, two, three interstate batteries for my trolling motor. That's um, 50 pounds a piece, I guess 150 pounds at least. And then not just one giant AGM battery, that weighs 75 pounds, but I have two of them that weigh 75 pounds a piece. So yeah, that's a lot of batteries right there, which, you know what, over the time, it just became necessary. I kept getting more components on my boat. You know, I have two talons on the boat. So I got two units on the console right here that I set one up on the ram mount. So I have two Helix 12s that I set up on the console right here. I, I mean, on the, uh, on the bow, I have my 360 right here. Um, hydraulic jack plate. Uh, what else? I run two live wells when I'm fishing a tournament, like say with a co on the back of my boat. Um, and uh, I have to have a lot of my accessories running all at the same time, so I need a lot of power. Um, it's necessary for me to have this much power, actually. But the problem is, is that I got 300 pounds worth of batteries back here. So this is, this is something I'm really, really looking forward to because I'm gonna get a lot of weight out of the back of my boat. Now let's see, five batteries, 300 pounds. Let's see what we're gonna downscale to. Well, those two 75 pound battery, accessory batteries that I have all my accessories split onto each one of those guys, I'm gonna be replacing them with one 28 pound battery. Well, this guy right here is the big boy, even though he's s smaller than both of the AGMs I have in there. Um, 125 amp hour. That's the power. That's the um, that's a powerful accessory battery right there. So this is going to be enough to power um, all my four graphs, my 360, my live wells, everything, all on one battery. We're going from 70, two 75 pound batteries, which is 150 pounds, down to 28 pounds. I'm having a hard time comprehending it, but this is what's going on right now. All right, next, we're gonna take those three interstate batteries that weigh 50 pounds a piece, that's 150 pounds, replacing them with three of these bad boys. These things weigh nothing. I think they're less than 15 pounds. You know, you couldn't even, you couldn't even get a freaking curl going with one of these things. Yeah, so, I don't know, do the math. 14 and a half pounds, 15 pounds a piece. Say they're 15 pounds a piece, right? Um, 15 to 30, 45 pounds total for my trolling motor batteries. So, that's actually a little ridiculous. Yeah, so, three of those guys. It's like pulling a rabbit out of a hat. <laughs> it's magic how light they are, I understand it. All right, and last but not least, definitely not least, um, I have a lithium battery charger here. It's made by Ionic as well. Um, the one I have on my boat right now is a um, NOCO battery charger, I think that's how you say it. Uh, it's a really good battery charger. It, I can say a lot of good things about it, but it doesn't charge lithium ion batteries. So, looks like I'm gonna have to sell that thing. I got this one here. Oh yeah, that thing's pretty. 
freaking nice. All right, so check it out. 45 pounds total for these three. 28 pounds right here. That is 73 pounds. My other batteries weigh 300 altogether, I believe. That's what we came up with before, right? So let's do the math. What is 300 minus 73? And that even, that's not even including the actual weight um, reduction of my battery charger. So that is huge. That's like taking a huge person from out of the back of my boat. All right, so let me get to the point, right? Why is this worth it? You know what I mean? Why are these expensive, awesome, innovative batteries worth it? Well, Ionic, these things are freaking cheaper than any brand I've really found. And they seem to be like the most popular on the low right now. All right, so I know a lot of you guys are saying that's a huge weight reduction, but still, Lithiums are way too much money. It's not worth buying them, you know, and I'm not gonna tell you, hey, listen, you need to put lithiums on your boat. But for me, this is the reason why I'm doing it, okay? Here's a Helix 12, all right? Not a Solex, it's a Helix. I run four Helixes on my Phoenix, and I run a 360, just like I said before, and all that other stuff. Now, in electronics alone, I'm not even going to start adding up how much money that I spend on spent on electronics. But one Helix 12, you're looking at like $2,500, um, depending on what model you buy, you know, you can get one for cheap or what generation you buy. But I just got a whole set of lithium batteries and a battery charger. Um, I'm pretty sure I got all that for under $2,500. Now being that my electronics are so important to me. Having these ionic batteries are such a pleasure now, but what I'm doing now is I just attach to these batteries Bluetooth right through an app. I didn't do anything. I opened the app and that's it. I'm going to click on one of them. I'm going to see these things came last night. 74% charge. Well, that's awesome. Let's see. 74% charge. That's cool, man. It looks like they all came out of the factory, all 74% charged. Let me get these things put on my boat. Ionic sells a custom um, battery tray for these three bad boys right here. So basically you just take out your old battery tray, screw that guy in and uh, pump those Ionics right in your boat. All right, man, let's grab the heavy one. All right, guys, the sun is about to set. I have this thing pretty much done. Um, really excited. There's my accessory battery right there. 125 amp, replacing two of those giant AGMs. Oh, there they are. Those big 75 pound a piece batteries. Boom, 34 pounds right there. I got my new tray laid out in here with my three um, trolling motor batteries um, and the new battery charger back there. That was a pain in the ass getting back there. But yeah. Um, completely downscaled in weight so excited almost done I am gonna get back to you guys I'm gonna get out on the water and test these things out all right guys before I get to wrapping this thing up I want to give you my full unbiased review on these batteries I tested them out I had them out on the water for about 13 hours I did a lot of different stuff that day went up in the creeks shallow went through a lot of grass um i was offshore i was in a lot of current i was spot locked for quite a uh, quite some time so i definitely use my trolling motor batteries a lot um my accessory batteries i i used all my graphs that day um uh, all four of them had the 360 uh spinning the whole time um trimming my jack plate the whole time i'm running my motor started the motor multiple times you know the works I, I filled up the live wells, threw a couple fish in there, um, getting things ready, tested out, and ready to go for my tournament coming up. So, um, had those live wells running for about six, seven hours, both of them, you know, all four pumps. Um, uh, monitored everything on the, on the app, and at the end of the day, I had 19% or 20% uh, left on the trolling motor. Um, and I had, I think, about 50 to 60% left on the accessory battery. So I was really pleased with that. 
Pros and cons, pros and cons. All right, we already talked about all the pros. Um, I'm not even going to get into repeating all that stuff. I can pretty much support everything good that I said about the batteries, and they have a great lifespan, super light, and really manageable through the app. Now, cons. It's hard to, it's really hard to call it, you know what I mean? But I, I want to give you guys a fair review here, and um, if there's anything I could notice negative about the batteries, um, maybe I noticed that... I expected them to be a little bit more thrusty, but um, that could just be me always wanting more, you know? It's just kind of how I am. So um, I still reach the same miles per hour on my trolling motor as I did with the other batteries. Um, so there's quite possible that there's no difference at all. And the lithiums do run for a very substantial period of time. The only difference that I, could, that I would change um, if you know, I was made of money. I would probably have put the 100 amp hour batteries in instead of the little 50 amp hour batteries. Um, the 100 amp hours are still very light, but overall satisfied with the whole setup. So um, there's my whole review, guys. Um, I hope you got something out of it. And if anybody has any questions about lithiums or my experience with lithium batteries, um, with my boat, weight distribution, and the whole nine yards, um, the, you guys feel free to just drop a comment in the comments section. Uh, please like and subscribe, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Have a great day.